Hello friends, uh, today we have in our studio Dr. Srikant Karlikar. Uh, he will tell us about the opportunities and career uh, in the sector of geography. Uh, hello sir, uh, I welcome you on the behalf of Nana Prabodhini, firstly. Let's introduce uh, sir now. Uh, Dr. Srikant Karlikar, uh, he has done his MSc and PhD. Uh, for 40 years, uh, he is teaching uh, in SP College and uh, he is HOD, uh, head of the Department of Geography. He has also worked as a guest lecturer uh, in various uh, universities uh, and also guided many students for their PhD and MPhil. Um, also, uh, he has worked uh, as a writer of many textbooks and reference books. Um, so, uh, coming back to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, we'll begin with the questions, yes. Uh, firstly, I want to ask you that uh, the students uh, who are interested in the sector of geography or they are learning geography, they like geography, uh, what should they do for uh, going ahead in this field? To uh, uh, increase their interest in the uh, reading of, uh, say, landscape, the environment. Yeah. For that, they have to visit many areas. Mm -hmm. uh, that definitely is helpful for, uh, say, creating awareness mm -hmm. uh, about the nature, its problems, the geography, the terrain, etc. Similarly, they can read uh, many, many books. Uh, so, like say the uh, travel accounts, mm -hmm. two reports like that. And of course there is one other way also available to them. That is they can search on the net yeah. and on the net they get uh, a lot of information regarding number of areas, many areas yeah. from the world. And uh, they can see um, the world through the photographs, yeah. uh, etc. And mm -hmm. by that they can definitely increase their interest yeah. in the subject. Yeah. Uh, sir, can you please uh, elaborate the different uh, subdivisions in this field? Uh, conventionally and even today, geography is studied under two main branches. Uh, the major branch of course is physical geography mm -hmm. and the another is human geography. In physical, the sub-branches like uh, meteorology, oceanography, these, these are included. Mm -hmm. And in the human, the uh, study of settlements, like rural settlements, urban settlements, mm -hmm. agriculture, the, these are included under the human geography. Uh, so these are the conventional. And uh, in addition to these, nowadays we have two, uh, two more branches. Mm -hmm. uh, out of that, one is, of course, the uh, technique-oriented branch, which includes statistical methods, mm -hmm. uh, geography information system, GIS, mm -hmm. or the remote sensing, aerial photography. Uh, by which you can collect a lot of information, you can increase the database. Mm -hmm. So that is how this is increasing and widening. Yeah. The scope is widening, the branches are also increasing yeah. nowadays. So we can say uh, geography uh, is a scientific branch. Uh, so we uh, have to have knowledge of science uh, for that. So the students uh, which are uh, who are doing science uh, get the chances and opportunities in this field. Uh, but what about uh, the students of arts and uh, commerce? Yeah, uh, if they want to do something in this field, uh, can you suggest something? Yeah. Uh, as you said, it is correct. It is true that the science student gets more opportunities in the subject. But even the arts student can get a number of opportunities in the mm -hmm. subject because there are branches related to the uh, arts uh, wing also. Yeah. The only problem is regarding the commerce discipline. Yeah. Because in commerce, the scope is limited. Mm -hmm. At the most, they can study the commercial geography, the mm -hmm. commercial part of that subject. So the scope is limited there. But in arts, you can have a number of branches, and the scope is also uh, very wide, okay. even in arts. Okay. Uh, so now, can you tell us about the career opportunities uh, in this subject, uh, also in India and abroad? Uh, there are many opportunities in India as well as abroad mm -hmm. and these uh, actually opportunities they are connected with the as I said the physical uh, side mm -hmm. and the human side of the geography. Uh, the students are the uh, 
what I can say, the researcher especially. Yeah. Uh, he gets uh, jobs in the in different departments, the government agencies, government departments, mm -hmm. even the private agencies, connected with geohydrology, groundwater survey, yeah. and then uh, study of climates, mm -hmm. uh, meteorology, soil survey, mm -hmm. land survey, land designing, yeah. uh, landscape designing, etc. So, and these all these opportunities they are available in India as well as uh, abroad yeah. in other countries. Yeah. Students uh, who are interested in further studies, uh, can they get any scholarships for uh, their further studies uh, from various institutions? Uh, I would like uh, like to know about the uh, salary range in this field. Uh, nowadays, if you know, if you, uh, if there, there is a skill in you, there are many sponsors available uh, who sponsor you for the scholarship. They give you scholarship, they give you money. You can go abroad also. And uh, there are many universities, research institutions, educational institutions, who also encourage yeah. uh, these studies. Uh, for getting jobs also, they, they assist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in government, uh, the, the scope is very large actually. Okay. But you must have a specialization mm -hmm. in different branches. Okay. Then only you get jobs there. Nowadays, many students are watching Discovery and National Geographic and Animal Planet uh, on TV. So, uh, it is very fascinating to watch these people going around and roaming around in the mountains and uh, observing all the things. Uh, so, can you please tell us about those uh, opportunities? These avenues are also available to a geography student or a geography learner. Only thing is he must have that particular skill. Mm -hmm. These uh, channels, especially the National Geographic Discovery, uh, they don't give you any work unless you have that skill, mm -hmm. you have the stamina, you have that urge for work. If you have that, the scope lies there also, mm -hmm. and you get a lot of opportunities there okay. uh, in such uh, very specialized uh, institutions. Mm -hmm. The end. Uh I would like to know about the scope in next uh, 10 years or uh, we can say future uh, in research in geography um, and also uh, looking at it as a career option. Again, as I said just now, yeah. there is a lot, a lot of scope in research mm -hmm. as well as career building in geography. Yeah. Uh, if you consider the today's problems, mm -hmm. the environmental problems, geological, geographical, or the problems related to the to the earth, yeah. especially the global warming, mm -hmm. uh, sea level rise, yeah. etc. Uh, there definitely you have a large scope and uh, the student can uh, work in this, these fields mm -hmm. uh, and give his contribution yeah. in this. Then there are problems related to the spread of urban uh, societies, yeah. cities, mm -hmm. etc where the planning, management, etc. can also be dealt by a, a geographer. Yeah. Uh, and in uh, next coming uh, decade also, mm -hmm. there is a very large scope for geography. Okay. And a very great, uh, I, mean, I can say, uh, number of opportunities yeah. in geography. Yeah. So one can definitely opt for geography yeah. uh, now only. Yeah. Now. Yes. Thank you very much, sir, for coming uh, here and giving such uh, elaborated information about the field of geography. You guys are definitely benefited out of it. I, I can say that. Thank you very much. Sir, Thank you. Coming.